Hey guys, um, so a lot of people ask and they want to know what social anxiety is, um, what's a mental illness, what is psychosis, and what it's like living, living with a mental illness. So in this short video, um, I decided to basically talk about the basics of mental illness, social anxiety, and psychosis. So it's uh, it's very simple to understand. Uh, mental illness is like any other illness. Um, just picture a person living with diabetes. They have to take medication. They have to take care of themselves. They have to watch what they eat, etc. Someone with a uh, mental illness, they have to. They also some of them, some people, I do, uh, take medication for their mental illness. So you have to be careful what you do. Because a lot of there's a lot of things that can trigger your mental illness, make it even more intense, like alcohol and uh, and substances like that. So you really gotta be careful and watch out. Um, so what is mental illness? Like I said, it's a disease. It's like any any illness. Uh, you gotta you gotta live with it. You gotta learn to cope with it. You gotta go day to day with it. Um, I also get this a lot and it's um, it's a pretty common question it's what is today's understanding on mental illness um, well it's the very depends on the person because um, some people are more educated some people are less educated you know so some people are, are very aware of mental illness some people are not aware of mental illness maybe just a little bit and some people just think that someone with mental illness is a crazy person, which is not true. Um, someone with a mental illness is like any other normal person. It's just they, they're suffering from, from it could be bipolar, social anxiety, psychosis, anything like that, you know. And they just, they just gotta learn to live with it, etc. So, some people think that you know like those one people with a mental illness are like one of those people that show up on the news every now and then like go on a shooting spree or like murder someone but I can tell you from a fact from my own experience that's not true someone with a mental illness is usually a person in need of some support some help um, just understanding and some love and care like any other person you know um, so um, so yeah, and other people like psychologists, doctors, um, etc. They know that mental illness is isn't something to joke with because it's very serious. Most of the time, people go untreated for a mental illness that usually results in suicide or uh, substance abuse like alcohol, marijuana, etc. You know, they end up harming themselves even more. So. I mean, you gotta be careful. And you gotta know that there's help out there. You you aren't alone. There's many people who suffer from mental illness. Many people just like you and me who are just wishing to find that someone to understand them and to be able to talk with. So, I mean, the best thing you can do is go help, go seek help, and don't don't suffer alone. You know, because that's the worst thing you can do is just be by yourself and think that no one in the world is going to understand you no one knows no one's ever going to know what's really going on with you it's not true I mean there's so much help out there these days that it'll be it'll be something tragic not to go look for help so I mean what I did in my experience was um, I went to Cam H I decided to go in for an assessment and uh, they did, they assessed me, did a bunch of tests on me, etc. And they sent me to a therapist. He just basically asked me a lot of questions about how am I feeling, how am I doing, how are my thoughts, how are my emotions, etc. You know, so it's, um, yeah, and then they basically prescribe you medication if you need one. Uh, you can take it if you want to take it, if you feel you need it, if you don't, then... Um, I guess it's just you won't take it. Um, 
I personally I feel I can manage without medication but I'm still taking it for now just to see how I feel and if I feel their improvements then uh, I'm gonna continue taking it but right now it's just uh, basically an experiment for me but we'll see how it goes um so how 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 would someone know that they suffer from mental illness you know that's simple um, some of the very 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 like common signs are you get nervous when you shouldn't be getting nervous you're very anxious to do things like even simple things you know going out for a walk in the street or getting ready to go to school or just going to work or just being around people you know and you get super anxious when you know you shouldn't be you know that's a sign that you may you may have a mental illness um, another one would be uh, depending on your mood if your mood gets really low for a long time days and then your mood can be really high that's also a sign that you may have bipolar or some sort of depression or mood or mood disorder so um, I mean most people know that they have a mental illness they're, it's, they're just afraid to go seek help because they don't know what's gonna happen what the end result's gonna be you know um, and some people may suffer from one and may not know it until later on in life which is what happened to me um, I suffered from mental illness since I was pretty much 16 years old but um, I really didn't know that there, there was so much help out there and I didn't know that there, there was somewhere I can go where I can get treatment and every, all of that stuff you know so until I was 22 so I suffered for a while by myself for like five six years just not knowing what's going on with me not knowing what what would happen with me so until I was 22 when I went to go seek help um, 22 now um, basically yeah I'm basically on the road to recovery on the road to treatment so should be interesting and on that note um, I would just like to say thank you to everybody if you like the video please give it a thumbs up um, if you have any comments anything good or bad doesn't matter just put, put your thoughts out there uh, ready to leave a comment below um, anything you can say anything you want really don't judge um, and if you if you want to subscribe uh, please do subscribe and uh, there will be more videos so thank you very much and uh, Merry Christmas.